here we are at the cemetery all right in part one of this video um, it cut off uh, right after this grave here I purposely left off the name because I didn't want anyone to think I was making fun of the dead or anything but uh, here is the actual uh, research we did at that grave. We're going to go up here and look at this grave that has eerily been broken into. It's a grave of uh, Helen Newsom. Newsom. Helen Newsom. April 13th, 1829. July 12th, 1904. Okay. Can we put down the recorder? Hit record. It's already on. Just hit record. And lay it down. Should be working okay. Uh, hi, Helen. How are you? I'm sorry to see uh, what's happened to your grave here. Um, I hope they fix it soon. I think it's terrible to state that uh, your grave and other graves around here are in. I was over there trying to move that big heavy ball. It went on top of that grave there beside it. It's just awful. Yeah, this is this is terrible. It's even hard to tell who you're buried by right now, Helen, because these memorials are in such bad shape. Um what's this Oh, I don't know. Is that writing or Yeah, it, it's badly worn. L something R Newsom. Yeah, eighteen fifty five to nineteen oh eight. I really wow. can't make a whole lot more. You need to do like a chalk rubbing rubbing on it. So Helen, um I don't know, was this your husband beside you or something? I might be able to look you up and see uh, a little bit about your life, Helen. Okay, Helen, uh, we're going to go now. Uh, thank you, and uh, rest in peace. And I hope they get your grave fixed soon. And we're going to head up the hill here. And I'm trying to keep the camera up, but it's hard when you're going uphill. And there's graves everywhere, and stones down everywhere, and it's hard to tell who you're walking over. I'm trying not to, but... Oh, and this one's sinking into the ground. Jeez. Okay, I wonder if they're related to Quindus and And this, this cemetery has a a few of these small, like single family mausoleums. Oh, I guess the front's over here. Oh, okay. It's just in the wall type. Hawkins. The Hawkins. Hawkins. It's 
Isaiah. Isaac. 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 I S A A C. Isaac Hawkins. Isaac T. And that was Serene. Woodman of the world. Huh. Oh. Okay. He was a woodman of the world. I hope I'm getting that. It's so bright. I can't see. Now normally they've the woodman of the world has a a wood based carving or something. It looks like a stump often. Yeah, it'll look like a stump or something like that. So I don't quite understand. There's no decoration like that on this grave. You recording? Yes. Okay. Cyrene or Isaac, if there's anything you'd like to tell us, please speak into this little recorder right here. Or if you want, you can touch this antenna to let us know you're still with us. In fact, if you want, I will uh, walk away and you can say anything you want to or touch the antenna. I don't have to be right here. Okay, so I'm going to step back and uh, give you a moment. Just to let you know, if anything does come up on the recorder, there is no one around. No one on this side or this side. Isaac and Serene, um, I'm back. Hopefully you were able to say something into our recorder. I'm going to leave you now, and may you both rest in peace. Thank you. Albert just managed to replace that one up there is a child. Oh. Lamb, I hit her fell over. A child's tombstone up there he fixed. And uh, this one down here. Fairy Myrtle. Fairy Myrtle Van Gilder. Huh. Quite an unusual name. Yeah. This might have been her mother, Martha D. Van Gilder. Gilder. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting old cemetery, though. I'd hate to be some of the, the ones buried way up here. How old are some of these? 1923. Oh, not that old. 19, uh, huh. 
here is the child's grave that Albert was able to set up right. Harold A, son of W.A. and E.M. Harris. You can always tell it's a child's grave by a lamb on top. Nineteen sixteen to I can't tell by the fungus. It looks like a one, maybe nineteen twenty one. Yep. Nineteen twenty one. So they were about five years old. It's a shame. Here's part of a stone, but I don't know where the rest of it's at. Huh. Floyd Wilson. How's that? Oh, okay. Floyd Wilson, 1953. Mary Wilson, 1939. It doesn't say. That's the only dates. Hmm. They might have been. Floyd Mary Wilson was the last name. I'm thinking Mary might have originally been a Harris, maybe, because I don't know why they're buried right next to this bo this boy who was a Harris. I'm thinking Mary might have been married before and had Harold, and then she remarried sometime after the boy's death. Granville B. Brown and Annie U. Brown, 1859-1925. That held up pretty well. 1852-1921. Granville B. Brown, can you imagine the talk? That's an awful long first name. <laughs> yeah. Beach, Beecham? Beecham? Beecham. Beecham. Oh, yeah. Beecham, yeah. 2001, that don't look that old. I know. That's not that long ago. Just curious. Albert. Albert James Harold. West Virginia. Oh, I think he was a vet. I think he was a vet. I can't quite get over there because I've got this pine branch right here. There's the grave and it's like hard to see. Oh, got to go uphill to get around it. Yeah, Albert James Harold, U.S. Navy, World War II, I think. Huh. Cecil Rice, oh, there's another one. Will he get that up? Yes, he's getting it. 
Ho. I couldn't possibly do that. Well, I have a feeling that might be a bad thing to do. It's just gonna fall again. If it falls again, it may crash. Oh. I hope not. Oh. I can't even remember. 1920. Can't read that. Uh -uh. It's in bad shape. Where's the vehicle? Anyone around it? Uh-uh. Okay. Some more Hawkins. No. Oh, this ground's treacherous. I'm going down sideways. <laughs> Edward A. Hammer. Boy. I'm not sure where the graves are at anymore. The markers are like everywhere. Okay, Virginia Miller Price, that's the one Albert tried to lift up. Yeah, there ain't no lifting that up. Yeah. I tried, there's no way. I didn't figure. It's a shame, man. I'm surprised I had to, someone had to knock that off. Yeah. No way could have moved that. No. And as well as the one, your ancestor down there that got knocked off, that's perfectly flat. There's no way. Unless the tree hit it, knocked it off when it fell. But. Could have. Well, there's one right there you couldn't even see. Another Van Gilder, huh? It's only been there since 2010. Wow, a new one. Newer one, I should say. Well, I'm gonna end here now. Maybe get a little footage on the way out, but uh, yeah, I think we're done here. Hopefully we got something. Okie doke on her way out maybe something came down there not much though that stuff's old it's been down for you now it's hard to tell how long uh, don't you just hate phone calls let's try this again Yeah, there's that other tree I said was down. There's like three or four of them down.
here's that spooky mausoleum we talked about in previous videos. When Albert was a kid, he uh, knocked on the door, not really meaning any harm, and he said uh, it was an evening and the light came on. And he was so scared, he took off out of there. He said it scared the shit out of him. <laughs>